All right, you guys, let's talk about rhinestones and do a quick introduction on what the heck you do with these things and what you need to actually do anything with these things. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today are specifically hot fix rhinestones. The size that we're going to be working with today are the SS10 size. That's the size that we currently have available on our website with more sizes coming within the next few weeks. Okay, so first things first, hot fix rhinestones. Hot fix rhinestones are special because they're like flat back rhinestones, so they can be glued onto surfaces as you want, um, but they also have a glue that's already on them. Um, so the back of hot fix rhinestones has a glue, this grayish color, that's actually glue, and it's activated with heat. So what that means is you can apply these rhinestones with a heat press, you can apply them with an iron, you can apply them with an easy press, or if you want to, you can also glue them. So they're very diverse in what you can do with them, okay? Now, as far as what they can be applied to, they can be applied to fabrics. So this is, these are hot fix rhinestones. This is the AB crystal. Um, AB, when you see AB in the name, that basically means it uh, shows a wide range of color. It's almost like holographic for glitter. It's a Aurea Borealis is what it stands for. So um, anytime you see AB, they're gonna have like an iridescent uh, and look different in different views, okay? So this is the AB crystal. This was heat pressed on Grogain ribbon and then turned into a little bow for this cheer bow, okay? So to do this, you, these are just heat pressed on. Uh, first you make a template, you brush your rhinestones in, and then you heat press them onto your desired objects, which I'll show you all of that in just a few minutes. Okay, the other thing that you can do with hot fix rhinestones is you can press them directly onto various materials that allow you to actually press onto it. So this is a black acrylic with rhinestones pressed to it. This is a clear acrylic auto coaster with rhinestones direct, pressed directly onto the acrylic. A good way to know that you have a good press with rhinestones is if you look at the back, you should see almost like a little circle of glue around the rhinestones that the rhinestones are actually seated into. So as long as you see that little bit, that little uh, circle of glue around the rhinestones, that means you have a good press. So it's really easy to see that when you're pressing onto a clear object or when you're making rhinestone decals. Okay, this is Press directly onto acrylic with a transparent glitter adhesive on the back. This is actually rhinestones pressed onto decal material and then put onto an acrylic. So that's the other thing you can do with it. So you can press the hot fix rhinestones onto fabric. You can press it onto hard surfaces that can take the heat. Or you can actually press it onto this special decal material made for rhinestones. Um, so you actually just press the rhinestones onto this decal material and then you can apply this to a car window, um, any glass, mirror, pretty much any hard surface that you can apply a regular decal to. It's actually completely clear. Um, so all you see is the actual rhinestones when applied. Same thing with this. See how you can see that little circle of adhesive around the rhinestones? That's how you know you have a good press and those rhinestones are going to stay in place. So this is a rhinestone decal. This is a rhinestone decal. All right. This is what the rhinestones look like before you press them onto anything. So at this point, you can press this, you can just take this application tape and then you can put this on a shirt, you can put it on a bag, you can put it on the rhinestone decal material, you can put it on an acrylic, anything that you wanna press this to, at this point you can choose what to do with it. So the first steps when creating a rhinestone, uh, a rhinestone template or a rhinestone transfer, you can always decide later what you wanna do with it. So you don't have to do different things if you're gonna put it on fabric as opposed to putting it on decal material. So all three of these have not been pressed onto anything. So these can be turned into decals, pressed directly on acrylic, or put onto fabric. Okay, so let me give you some little, a little bit of basics about hot fix rhinestones. A lot of times, hot fix rhinestones, you'll see them sized as SS10, SS12, SS6, um, as opposed to millimeters. 
so uh, you should see millimeters too, but S, the SS sizes are how you're mainly going to see hot fix rhinestones. So what we have is SS10, which is this size, which is approximately 2.7 to 2.9 millimeters to kind of give you an idea on size. The other two sizes that we're going to have on the website soon are the SS20 um, are the, and the SS30. So we're going to carry both the SS20 and the SS30 size very soon. The SS20 are popular for tumblers, for decorating tumblers. The SS30, uh, we're carrying this specifically because they are the perfect size to fit into the little hole for badge rolls. Um, so we'll have a bunch of colors on that. Okay, so that's how sizes work. As far as how they're sold, quantity, they're normally sold um, in gross, okay? So one gross is 144 pieces. This is 10 gross, which is 1,440 pieces. At Zendi, we actually package this, by, package this by weight, so we put a little bit extra in. On the website, it'll say 10 gross, but this is more like 1,500 or more stones in the container, okay? To kind of give you an idea what you can do with that many stones, you can make approximately 30 to 35 of these circles with one thing of these stones, just to kind of give you an idea. Okay. Now, the other things, let's go over the basics of what you need to actually get started with rhinestones. One of the most important things is the template flock. The template flock that we sell is uh, 12 inches by 20 inches in size and it's white it looks just like this but a full sheet obviously um, and then you actually cut your template out of this when you cut your template out it'll look like this and then this is what you use to actually brush your stones into it the amazing thing about this template flock is you can reuse it again and again and again so when you make a template say for an auto coaster you only have to make one and you can use this template again and again and again to make unlimited amount of auto coaster rhinestone transfers. So that's really a nice thing. You don't have to cut a template every time you want to make an auto coaster, only the first time. Okay, so the template flock is super important. And then the other thing that's super important is the application tape. Uh, the application tape is sold in 12 inches by 12 inches, and this is just like transfer tape uh, for regular adhesive decals. This basically just lifts your rhinestones out of the template flock material for you to transfer onto something else. So as you can see here, this is the application tape. It's a special application tape specifically for rhinestones that keep them in place. And then you can take this and you can actually heat press it so it can be heat pressed onto whatever you need and then you remove it. Okay, so that's the application tape. The other thing you need are if you want to make uh, decals. If you want to make rhinestone decals, you'll need the rhinestone decal material. So what this is, is the actual material um, that you would press the rhinestones onto. It has a backing on it so whenever you're ready to apply to a car window or to your silhouette machine or whatever hard surface that you want to put this decal onto you remove that backing and then you press your rhinestones on the shiny side okay all right so that's the three materials so you have your rhinestone template flock which is needed for the the templates you have your rhinestone application tape which is needed to lift your rhinestones and actually apply them. And then if you wanna make the decals, you have your rhinestone decal material. Okay, as far as tools and workstation, all right. So you can actually make a workstation or you can use backing board. I'm not crazy about backing board. I like having an actual workstation. All this is is a $2 pan from Walmart and all this is is a sheet of template flock stuck on it. So what I can do with this is I can take my templates for the rhinestones, stick them on here, brush my rhinestones in, and then just clean this up and then it gives me a work area. Also it has these sides so rhinestones don't fall off or anything like that. And then anytime you're making a rhinestone workstation, you wanna have like this little edge because this will give you a place for you to um, stick that application tape 
two to make a hinge so that you can do multi-color rhinestone decals, which we're going to do that in a few minutes. But let's go over the rest of the supplies you need. Okay, so workstation or a backing board. Backing board is just basically a board that you stick these to and you can work on that. Um, this is so cheap and easy, I would definitely recommend doing an actual rhinestone workstation with the template block. Okay, the other thing you're gonna need is a brush to actually brush the rhinestones in. Both of these things can be found in the paint section at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, all it is is a paint trim brush. It has a texture to it that works really well for getting the rhinestones into the template. Um, so this is just a regular, this is actually Sureline brand. So you should be able to find it pretty much anywhere. We will be carrying it on the site just to make it easy for y'all. But in the meantime, you can get it pretty much wherever. Okay, so you need your workstation, you need your brushes. This is just a thing to help you pick up your rhinestones. It's just a bead holder. We're gonna have these on the website within the next week or two. Um, this is just something to make it easy. You don't have to have it, but it's nice. Um, another thing that is actually very helpful is tweezers. Anytime you have any pesky stones that just won't listen, tweezers are a good way to just pick them up, turn them over, or whatever you need to do. Okay, and that is about it as far as your supplies besides the actual rhinestones. Okay, which you can get all the rhinestones at zindi.com, of course. Okay, before we actually make a rhinestone transfer, let me show you how it looks when you cut these templates with your vinyl cutter. Okay, so you'll cut the template with your vinyl cutter and all the templates should have a square around the edge. So if you're making your own templates, you wanna make sure there's a square around it because you need that um, to keep it all together. Okay, so, and sometimes the edge is very hard to see with this, okay? So all we wanna do is remove this. We don't need those little circles. So if they wanna come up, you can just push those back down. Okay, so here's part one of our template. All right, and part two of our template. This particular template will fit on uh, our three inch circles um, and it'll be available for purchase on the website if you don't want to make your own. And then this is just a letter S because I couldn't help myself and I wanted to make a letter S. Okay. All right, so. This can be discarded, we don't need this. The important part are these. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a rhinestone transfer. So we're gonna just take one piece of this two piece um, thing right now and light cyan AB, that sounds like a good color. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna pour some rhinestones on there. Doesn't really matter how much you pour, all the rest we're just gonna put back in the jar. You're gonna take your brush and you're just gonna lightly brush those stones around until they fall into the holes. They'll naturally want to fall face up. So that makes our life much easier. It usually takes less than 15 seconds to get those stones where they need to be. All right, so that's that. That's how easy. It always blows my mind. Okay, so we're gonna move these stones out of the way And we're gonna show you how to do this hinge method for two color rhinestone decals. Or transfers, I keep saying decals. This is a transfer. Don't know if it's gonna be a decal or if we're gonna use it on a bag or something. I might use it on a bag, why not? Okay, so this is our application tape. Now, this is where this hinge comes in 
comes into play. So I definitely cut the application tape long enough that it can fit, it can hit this hinge and also cover our decal. Okay, so we're just going to put this on there. Take our brush, make sure all the stones are sticking. Slowly lift that up, make sure everything's sticking. And then we're going to just put this over here and I'm just going to use my scissors to hold it down so it doesn't try to pop back up just like that. Okay. Now, now we're going to take our other part of our uh, template. Now, this square and this square are the exact same size. So that way all you have to do is line it up directly. For this particular design, I made this little notch at the top so that you know this is the top and this is the top. Because this design is symmetrical and looks the same all the way around, I didn't want it to be confusing in case um, you weren't sure what side was the top. So that's why you have these little notches. You can just match those up. So all you do is match those up. Make sure you can't see any of the holes for the bottom template on the top one. First, we're going to just clean up these stones so we don't um, get them mixed up with our other color. This is where this little thing comes in handy. Okay. So let's do what color with light sand? How about, hmm, decisions, decisions. I can't decide. This is what takes me longer than anything else to do stuff, is picking my colors. Light amethyst, uh, no. I didn't want to do that one. Which one do we want to do? Y'all, look, this is why I can't decide. There's too many colors. All right, how about black diamond? Black diamond? I want to put on a black bag, so that's why I keep changing my mind. Okay, let's do AB crystal. Crystal AB. I love the AB ones. Okay, so same thing. Pour some rhinestones on. We're gonna brush those in. This is my favorite color rhinestone of all of them. I just can't help it. Cause it has like every color in it and it matches everything. Okay, so that is part two of this template. And when you make your rhinestone workstation, you can put this all the way to the edge. Um, it makes it easier if you do. All right, so now we're gonna take our original and we are just going To line that up. Lift it up. And now we have our two color rhinestone decal. Not decal, rhinestone transfer. That we can now use for whatever we want to. And let's go ahead and so this can be reused. You can just move, remove this for later. Let's go ahead and do an S. And let's do the S in, let's go ahead and do the S in the same light cyan. So we're gonna pick these up. All right, let's do the S real quick. And that is it. So we're gonna just take this transfer 
And instead of doing it in two pieces, I'm just gonna drop that on there like so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much explains how to use hot fix rhinestones, the basics at least, what you need to get started. Um, so just to recap, you'll need the rhinestones, the template flock, the application tape, um, and then if you wanna make a decal, you need the decal material, and then you need a workstation, a brush, and then uh, another thing that's very helpful is this little uh, triangle, and then also tweezers. Um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to post them below. Um, I'll have two more videos up shortly after this one to give you a step-by-step -step on actually making the rhinestone decal and actually applying rhinestones to some kind of fabric or bag or something of that nature. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, evening, or night. Bye-bye.